Good evening and welcome to Midnight Movie Club in another Doctor Sleep video. In tonight's video we are going to be discussing steam, what it is, how it is extracted and what it can do. Once again, spoilers ahead for the Doctor Sleep novel and possibly the upcoming film if any of what I say is closely adapted. But without further ado, what is steam? Well, steam is essentially the life force of spiritually gifted children, children who shine. It is what the true not, the antagonists within Doctor Sleep, the ancient nomadic psychic vampires if you will, feed off of. The children who shine they kill give off white steam, the steam they need to keep them young and expand their lifespan beyond natural limits. Also, the stronger a kid's shine, the stronger their steam. It is believed that if the steam is strong enough, it can cure disease as well, although this was never confirmed in the book at any point. It also seems that only members of the True Knot have the ability to consume steam and the vitalities of these psychically gifted children. In terms of how the True Knot extract the steam, well that is one disturbing story. The True Knot must torture the children they kidnap, killing them slowly to get every last bit of steam. If they do not consume the steam straight away, then they store the remainder in canisters kept in Rose the Hat's Winnebago for later consumption. Now, as I said before, the True Knot feed off of white steam, which is given off of kids who shine, but there is also red steam, steam that normal people give off when they die. The True Knot call people who don't shine rubes, and their red steam can be extremely harmful to them and even cause death. Now, I am unsure if all Red Steam can kill True Knot members, or if only Red Steam of people who were ill can. Dan sees this red steam released from patients who pass away in the hospice he works in where he gets his name Dr. Sleep as he helps these dying patients pass over. Now before the final showdown with the True Knot, Dan sits with Abra's grandmother who has cancer as she dies and when she does, he takes in her red steam with its cancerous essence. Since he has done this, he has severe stomach pains holding in her illness before he uses it on the true knot. Eventually, in the climax of the story, he comes upon a lot of the members of the True Knot in a campground near where the Overlook once was. He then releases the red steam to them. Now, these members have been getting weaker and weaker throughout the book, so they are desperate for steam, and so consume it before succumbing to it and dying. Now for me it is hard to tell if it was because of the red steam they died or because that particular red steam was cancerous. Either way, the true knot doesn't get along with red steam. It also seems that Dan holds the power to consume steam leading me to believe that anyone who shines can if the knot doesn't turn them. At least they are able to consume it and hold it for a little while. Because then again, Dan could have took it in and stored it in one of his lock boxes before releasing it, meaning that once again only True Knot members can consume steam. So there are still some mysteries around steam, the different types and what it can do, but in the end, typically, white steam is produced from kids who shine when they die and red steam is produced from rubes when they die, i.e. normal people. The True Knot need the white and stay away from the red. We do know from the first trailer that we will see white steam being used by Rose the Hat to convert Snakebite Andy into a member of the True. We may well possibly see them extracting it from Baseball Boy and maybe other kids too. Fingers crossed we will see some red steam play a part as well. It has been a while since I have read the book so please do add anything I may have missed in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video give it a like and if you haven't already then subscribe to join the club. As always, thank you very much for watching and good night.